You've been selected for verification at Maricopa Community Colleges. Now what? This tutorial will review how to set up an account, submit documents, and check your status on the Verification Management System, or VMS. The process begins when the VMS sends an email to you at your Maricopa Community College's email address. You may see a to-do list item in your student center before you get this email, but the email has more specific information you need. The email tells you that you have been selected for a process called verification, which is part of the federal student aid program, and that you must provide some documentation related to the responses on your free application for federal student aid, or FAFSA, in order to receive federal student aid. A link to create a student account on the VMS website is also in the email notification from VMS. Click this link or copy and paste it into your browser's address bar to begin the account creation process. The page will ask you to identify yourself by entering either the last four digits of your social security number or your birthday, plus your first and last name, as they appear on your free application for federal student aid or FAFSA. After entering this information, click the Next button. VMS will search for your record in the system. When it has located your record, it will display your Maricopa Community College's email address and ask you to create a user ID. Make sure to enter your MEID and click the Complete Registration button. The VMS will then send an email to your Maricopa Community College's email address with a temporary password. The email has a link to complete your student account creation on the VMS website. Once back on the VMS site from the link in your email, enter your user ID and temporary password on this page. You can either type your password or copy and paste it from the email. On the next page, select a challenge question and provide an answer to the question you choose. VMS will ask you this challenge question if you ever forget your password and need to have it emailed to you, so be sure to choose something you will remember without writing down. After answering the challenge question, click the Submit button. Type in your new password in both the New Password and Confirm Password fields. This will be your permanent VMS password. Then click the Next button. Congrats! Now you can log in to VMS with your new password and you're ready to begin submitting documents. You have three ways of submitting the documentation requested in the email from VMS. You can fax it in to 888-237-5014. This is a toll-free fax number or you can mail it to the address listed in the email you received. Maricopa Community College's Verification Forms Collection, P.O. Box 7050, Lawrence, Kansas 66044. Or you can scan the documents and submit them via upload directly to the VMS. This process is the most efficient method, so let's review how to use it properly. From the VMS homepage, click on the Upload Documents link. The Verification Management System requires documents to be in PDF format, so if you're scanning, please remember to save these files as PDFs. Once your documents are ready to upload, click on the Browse button and find your files. Then click the Upload button. After you submit your documentation, the process of verifying documents typically takes about five business days. In the meantime, you can see the status of your verification by clicking on the Verification Status link. On the status page, you'll see a list of the possible documents you might have submitted with a status for each one. This status shows whether it has been received and assigned to your account. Even if you upload a document, staff looks at it to make sure it's the expected document and that it's readable. The next part of the page shows the particular verified information. 
when an item shows as verified okay and has a green check mark next to it, that means the Maricopa Community College's verification management system has confirmed that the information you sent matched the information on your FAFSA. When an item shows as verified corrected and has a yellow check mark next to it, that means some differences were found between the information you sent and the information on your FAFSA. Don't worry. It also means that the correction was made for you to your free application for federal student aid to match the information you provided. Remember, by quickly submitting the information to complete your verification, you're helping the financial aid office at your Maricopa Community College process your student aid. VMS is an important part of that process, and now you're ready to begin using the system to reach your educational goals.